wow and with a re 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 redesign or in this case reimagine of velvet and if you've been keeping up with me on my community tab you'll see i wasn't really happy with my final outcome of velvet's redesign as i was trying to mix and match with velvet's lore and references but as you all remember her lore and references clash like demon head for example she's a clown doll who's vox and val's pr which seems silly since they're in hell and vox and val are overlords they don't really need people to like them since they provide a good chunk of the services in hell so it's like do they really need pr and again the same argument as always it's hell so like what's the point she's also the head of hell's fashion industry which again still seems silly to me because like fashion is art and one person can't be the head of it like you can be an inspiration or a luxury brand but to be the head of all fashion is almost impossible and while i didn't get why velvet being good at potions was important for her character design though i was still kind of right that they were going to use it as a background gag but i'll admit it was smart that her skill at potion making came in handy with valentino's smoke power and though the show did answer some questions i had for example just like vaggy she was also going to change clothes which yes she did kinda we got four looks but like three are all kind of the same outfit i mean her pigtail outfit is probably the most different while the other two were kind of the same outfit just different hair and makeup and i had kind of hoped there'd be more color variation like yes she's goth coated kind of but i mean it would have been fun to see velvet play with more colors i mean even the dress she made in episode two is the same color she always wears also girl no like it's cute but she just got done yelling at a designer about the sleeves being too old school so what the fuck is this also side note how cute is this model Ugh. anyway i will say i like that she's able to make clothes with just a flick of her finger that was cool and i do like that her hair consistently changes so yay for representation for the wig girlies though my main issues still stand from my previous video about her and i'll talk more about it in my review for episode two and three but i was kind of disappointed with the lack of social media aspect like she mostly just played on her phone and the song while super catchy felt kind of dated like does anyone even say swipe right anymore or even use tinder last i heard bumble was the new tinder also i know it's silly but i was kind of hoping she was gonna call zestiel a boomer but that's just my humor in general also do people still say hashtag anymore genuinely asking for my gen z audience uh but then again velvet is in her 30s so she's maybe not as up to date as she thinks she is i mean the internet grows up faster than we do so i wouldn't be surprised if a new tiktok demon came onto the scene and pushed velvet out i mean velvet's media influence can easily be replaced by someone else you know like <laughs> There's like thousands of velvets all over the world. It, it, it's not like she's special or anything. And I know that seems silly to say, but it's kind of true. Anyway, I'm going way off topic, sorry. But yeah, after the show dropped and I had time to really sit down and think, I decided the best way to do this was to reimagine Velvet since her lore and the show's lore were kind of working against her and her design. Like, yes, in general, the design is really good and really cute. But when you learn what went into the design, it's kind of like like, huh? Nothing that was listed or referenced seemed to have traveled over to the design. Like when I look at Velvet, all I really think about is 2000s Hot Topic, you know, like when the stores used to be really decorative and cool, but like none of that really applies to current Velvet. So it's just like, hmm. So yeah, cutting out a lot and reworking some stuff to fit better seemed to be the better option. So let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Man, this was so tough. Not the design, but like coming up with something for Velvet was extremely hard when trying to use the info given. Like from my first attempt, I really tried to push the clown e-girl look, but it felt too much like a costume. Plus it didn't hint to her whole social media aspects. So for my second attempt, I went harder on the fashion aspect and used what was currently popular, but also still in the same alternative side of fashion and going a little bit harder with the media side aka the hearts since so many platforms use hearts but she felt too human even with the extra arms and eyes like the idea was there it just wasn't demon enough you know 
And my third attempt was trying to add the demon and doll look more. And well, yeah, it was still not really giving what I needed it to. Like with all the ideas fighting for dominance and not really matching enough to make something that really fit, I really didn't know what else to do till I dug deeper into the possible lore of the show. I mean, Valentino is so clearly lust coded and though Sloth in Hell of a Boss is more medical themed, Vox pretty much fits my interpretation of Sloth as a tech wonderland, so that just left Velvet. And when we see on Blitz's phone that Envy's app is basically TikTok, I was like, oh, Velvet is Envy coded. Okay, how could that work? What type of creature could she be? I went on my community tab and I asked for some ideas and got quite a mixed bag, but I settled on a poison dart frog since it matched her colors and fit with the whole potion making element, but after playing with the idea and sketching stuff, again, it just wasn't working at all. So I kind of just stopped thinking about it till it hit me like a freight train. Fame monster. And yeah, I see the irony since my Lilith video, but a fame monster seemed perfect, but it also meant I had to reimagine Velvet to fit with the new ideas I now had. Like, yes, she is still into fashion, but she's not a designer. She's now more of a promoter slash model. Now, this is where the design influenced some of the newer ideas. So I based a lot of the design ar around VTuber models. I figure Velvet went alive was a streamer, but used a VTuber model for a lot of her stuff, along with it being like her brand's logo and with Velvet's interest in alternative goth aesthetic, she made the model more demonic looking and used creepy cute art as her inspiration, hence why she has so many eyes along with bat wings. If you were around during the creepy cute art era, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Plus now with all the eyes, she can always know what's going on. And as you can see, they're alive and fly around. They like to nest in her hair or be as close as possible. Think like Serpentis' egg minions, except they're smarter. Uh, they can also replay anything they see. So that comes in handy. Uh, also, even though I loved my first version of Velvet's hair, it didn't fit for what I wanted for the eyes, so I did afro puffs with long natural curls and two twist braids with eye ties. And though I said I love that Velvet's hair changed in the show, I still wish we got more uniquer styles. I drew a few other outfit changes to still do something simple yet unique, but also incorporate a lot more natural hairstyles or just like textured hairstyles in general. I know we got the one, but... I would like a little bit more effort, you know? Anyway, sorry. Uh, oh, I did make her more imp shaped, if that makes sense. Like her hands and feet are based around Blitz's styles. Since I couldn't go extra hard with the demon design I wanted, cause then she'd look way too busy. Not that she's not already busy, but if any of you have seen some of the VTuber models out there, you'd agree it's the perfect level of busy. But yeah, I wanted like a good 50-50 of human and not human, if that makes sense. Plus she is kinda imp-like from the definition standpoint, but anyway, her horns and tails are striped mostly as a nod to her OG coloring. And speaking of coloring, I did use the same colors as my previous design. I just made the mint less of a focal point and just spread the colors more evenly. I still personally think Velvet's colors should somewhat represent Vox since they do have the most in common. I will probably make color variants later on to showcase she doesn't stick to the same colors all the time, but mint will be her color. And if you're wondering about the third eye, well, if you all remember, I had I had planned to give her four eyes, but then went back to two eyes. Like multiple eyes were always going to be a part of her design and I didn't want to take it away like last time. So I settled for three eyes. Her middle eye now has the ability to see into the future if she concentrates hard enough, allowing her to see what is going to be popular before it does, making her the number one trendsetter and a bigger reason for Vox and Val to keep. As for her outfit, I wasn't sure what to do. I still wanted to do something alternative and I had the references I wanted, but as you can see, it's a lot of layers. And though my style is hella detailed, I still wanted to try and keep it within the show's limits, which I mean, their limits is higher than most, but still. Anyway, I gave her an off the shoulder long sleeve crop top with mint stripes, topped with a laced edge tank top and high waisted shorts with ripped mint tights and what I can only call anime socks. I know they have a name, that's just what I prefer to call them. 
Also, I should say that I'm not like 100% satisfied with this outfit, but I think if I play with the outfit's colors more, I'll find a good balance. The color, however, was my main hang up though, since everyone likes the old colors so much, but for me, they didn't fit the theme, you know? Like, I love a good recolor as much as the next person, but color is still important for a character's overall theming. Either way, sorry this is all over the place and kind of fast paced as well, because like, I have made velvet so many times and I've tried to get my ideas together and it's just like, I don't want to talk about her anymore, but I do want to talk about her because clearly I'm doing it right now, but it's just like, <laughs> Whoo, but, yeah. but I mostly just wanted to show my thought process and show what I finally settled on. I know it's not going to be for everyone, but I honestly am so happy with this version plus it's different enough for me to keep and do my own thing with so that's always a plus anyway this was fun velvet has been a tough character to redesign for mostly because of her lore i want to make that very clear like if velvet's lore wasn't so jam-packed with random conflicting nonsense i'm pretty sure i would not have had to completely reimagine the character to fit better like i know she's not super active in the show but velvet is in her 30s and she's meant to be like this fashion empire person but also this like kiddish personality british and just like the pr tiktok there's just so much there is so much going on in her references and lore that just does not work. Like it all works against her, you know what I mean? And so it's just like, <laughs> it's like, I, if, it feels like I had no choice but to reimagine this character to fit. Like now she's Gen Z age, so like roughly 18 to 19 years old. She now has a VTuber style body and mindset, is a streamer, fast fashion promoter. <laughs> You know, all the things that like should have been put onto the character in the first place instead of trying to add layers upon layers upon layers upon layers that don't match. It's like, it's just a lot, okay? It's like a layered cake, but it's not delicious because every single layer of cake is a different flavor. And it's like, mm, these flavors do not go together. <laughs> <sighs> But you know, in hindsight, it should have been a huge clue when I didn't see anyone else redesigning her and the, and the people that did kind of just changed her hair, which fair, but ugh, I feel so much better. Anyway, I'm gonna try and have my review of episode two and three done. I am, I am trying so hard to cut back on some of the things I wanna say, but, it w but it'll get done sometime soon. So look forward to that. Anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and me. I hope you all have a super fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.